Hi, this is Camila McDonald coming to you live from Camila's Kitchen, live from Levels, and you are watching Big Stone TV. A very pleasant good morning ladies and gentlemen welcome once again to the series of the greats of the greats being honored today I'm so extremely happy to be honoring an icon slash legend by the name of Ijaman Levi now a friend of mine was curious about what happened to Ijaman Levi so I did my research and I want to say m.ch Kakani, this is your series on Ijaman Levi. This is what I found. Ijaman Levi was born Trevor Sutherland on the 21st of June 1946 in Christiana, Manchester, Jamaica. He's a reggae musician. In his early years, Levi was tutored by musician and vocal teacher Joe Higgs. His first album, I Le I Him, was released on Island Records in 1978. He became I Levi after a religious conversion to Rastafari when he was in prison between 1972 and 1974. It and his following records preach Rastafari movement as well as 12 tribes of Israel doctrine. Levi moved with his parents to the United Kingdom in 1963. In 1966 and in 1969, he released two singles under the name of The Youth. The first one was in 56 for Polydor 56121, As Long As There Is Love, and You're One and Only Man, both covers of Jimmy Ruffin and Otis Redding songs. Ijaman, as mentioned, is a great Otis Redding fan. They were cut in a typical mod R&B soul style. His second single was for the Ram 226, released on the 17th of January 1969 and featured Meadow of My Love and Love Me or Leave Me. The B sign was self-written, being credited to Sutherland. In 1985, Levi released I Do, a duet he recorded with his second wife Madge. The song performed well on the British reggae charts, reaching top position. Ijaman's most famous composition is Ja Heavy Load, recorded and released in 1976. And after I found all this information about Ijaman Levi, I had to dig even deeper because there wasn't much about him on the internet. And I came up with an article that came out in the Gleaner on Thursday the 26th of August 2021 and it reads Ijaman Levi takes hill with COVID after performance in France. Reggae musician Ijaman Levi who left his Manchester home in Jamaica earlier this month for France where he was scheduled to perform is now recovering from COVID-19 his manager, Cable Stevenson, 
told the gleaner that Levi is being cared for by the best doctors in that country. Heijerman had three shows in France and before he left Jamaica, he did a COVID test which came back negative. He traveled to France, did the shows, including the No Logo Festival, and then he was supposed to do some studio work, but he said he wasn't feeling well. I told him to take him to do a COVID test and it came back positive, Stevenson explained. The 75 year old reggae singer who consistently stole France and is a British citizen having migrated there with his parents decades ago is now in a better place than he was one week ago. But Stevenson, who is happy that the virus was discovered early, admitted that nevertheless there were a few scary days. When I spoke to him a few days ago, he sounded very weak. He said he hadn't eaten and didn't have any appetite. We are keeping him on a special diet recommended by the doctors. But I told him to make sure to take his medication and his vitamins to build up his immune system. I also told him to get a French bread, put some jam in it and get a pot of black coffee. He said he didn't want it. So I called the hotel myself and made the order and told them to take it to his room. This morning he told me that he was feeling much better and the black coffee worked, the manager said, happily. Stevenson, like Ijem and Levi, remained optimistic of a full recovery soon. I told him that I want to see him back home soon and he says he wants to get home to his family. So as soon as he get back a negative COVID test, he will be flying home. Stevenson, who was also the manager for Toots, Eberts. Ijem and Levi is not the first reggae artist to take sick while on tour in recent week and the question of health insurance is becoming topical. Stevenson is no stranger to that particular game, having been present when Gallimore Sullivan from the Gladiators fell ill while on a US tour and racked up a bill of US $35,000. We had to fly a doctor and nurse with him in first class when he was returning home and arrange for an ambulance to meet them at the airport and take him straight to the university hospital. All of that was covered by insurance. I always make sure that in my contracts or riders, the question of insurance is properly addressed, both for the artist personally and for the venue. And another thing is that many of the European embassies insist on insurance coverage as part of the terms to secure a visa, he noted. Stevenson is now in discussion with the agent in France regarding insurance coverage for Eijerman. He's also appealing to artists and their manager to educate themselves in this area as there are different times for touring musicians, artists and their entourage. Now ladies and gentlemen, that was in August of 2021. I'm not too sure of the condition, but we only can pray and hope that Eicherman Levi is fine and well now and is ready to tour the world again. I listened to some of his great music and I was totally impressed and blown away by his powerful delivery, the sweetness of his voice. So I was very happy to be able to do this for M.C.H. Kakani. This is for you and I did it for all his other fans that is scattered right around the world who has enjoyed his music time in and time out. I, German Levi, you're truly a living legend, sir. I hope and wish that you're well as we speak and when you get a chance to hear this beautiful tribute, you'll understand that we care for you, we love you, we honor you and respect you. Please like and share this video. And if you have not made a comment, please make a comment in the comment section. And also, if you have not yet subscribed to Big Stone Television, now is the time for you to do so. Have a beautiful day.